First things first with this update, let's talk about Engine DJ profiles. What this is, is basically a single sign-on for Engine DJ users. So if you look here, I have a Prime 4 Plus. And if I were to go to log into, say, my Amazon account uh, on the device, it would look something like this. I would need to verify with a computer and type in the code and then connect my Amazon account with the device. Or if I did the same thing with Tidal, I would have to do a similar process, but on the, the Tidal side. But with Engine DJ profiles, I can just create a profile, choose which accounts I want to be logged into. And then when I log in again to my Engine DJ profile with the, the single sign on, everything will be logged in. So it looks something like this. I'll access the settings menu and you'll notice I'm in the profile tab. If I tap login, I get this screen, connect, discover, play. Now a user can either just go to de device.ngdj.com and enter the code to log in. But most use cases, uh, the DJs will just have their cell phone handy. And uh, I'm gonna just snap this QR code. And that's connecting to the device. And then now I'm logging into, uh, it's connected through the InMusic profile. And so I've successfully logged in. And then you can see on the screen that I'm logged in. And on the desktop, and I'll show some images of this, you can go to the NGDJ website and you can select which streaming services you wanna be logged into. And how that will work is when you select that streaming service, you will connect with, say, your Amazon account, and you'll log into that way, and it'll connect it to your Ancient DJ account. But you'll only have to do that one time, and then once you're logged in, you're logged in. You can also update your profile picture and things like that. But really, where this would be a great use case is a DJ that has multiple devices, or DJs that are potentially multiple DJs DJing on the same device. They can log in and out of their profiles to access their streaming platforms. But now that I'm logged in, if I were to go to Amazon Music, it logs in right away. And that holds true with any of the other streaming services that are connected to the Engine DJ profile. You can also manage your connected devices on the Engine DJ website through your profile and also your device registrations, which is super handy. But one of the cool things too is when you're logged into the Engine DJ profile, let's look at Amazon Music, for example. Now, Amazon Music and Tidal typically are consumer first streaming platforms. They just happen to have a lot of music that DJs would need for a mobile gig or a wedding or something like that. So since they are consumer first, they don't have the BPM and key for most of their tracks. In fact, hardly any of them. Uh, I, I would say none of them until now. But when you're logged into the Engine DJ profile, if I were to look up, uh, let's just go to a, we'll just go to a top tracks, top songs. You'll notice that some of them have uh, BPM right here and key information. So if I were to load up uh, one of these songs, let's just let's do this Taylor Swift, why not? And see, the overview is already built, comes right in, it's got the beat grid already built. So that's already got the beat grids and everything built in because it had been scanned previously by an uh, Engine DJ profile user. Now at this stage, it's only the beta users that are scanning tracks, but once this is a public release, anybody that loads a track, so if I load this track here, for the first time on an Engine DJ device, it's gonna build the overview and it's gonna analyze the BPM and the key, and it's gonna save that to the, the cloud server. So next time somebody anywhere in the world on Engine DJ device is logged into their profile, if they were to load this track that I just analyzed, they're gonna see the analyzed information from my loading, which is pretty cool. It's like a, a community library management effort, if you will. So now that that track has been scanned in, the key and BPM has been saved as well as the beat grid. So at any point, if somebody were to look at Amazon Music, on an Engine DJ device as they're logged into their profile, they get to share that information that I scan to the track, which is really cool. And on the Engine DJ website, when you log into your profile to manage your devices or your registrations, you'll see a little leaderboard, which is really cool, kind of gamifies the whole process so you can see who has provided and um, contributed the most 
scanned tracks, uh, and that's their engine DJ name, and it says who's at the top of the leaderboard. So it's a really cool communal DJ effort to uh, crowdsource this metadata scanning of Amazon Music title tracks that don't already have the BPM and key, which is really cool. 